25 years, the HSV manufacturing process has come a very long way, from a handful of guys building one or two cars a week in a cell build operation, to what you'll see here today, a facility that can build 3,500 cars a year, all to a very, very high standard and very high quality. The HSV starts its life in Adelaide as what we call a core vehicle. So it's built in Adelaide at the Holden Vehicle Assembly Plant. A lot of the major components are fitted there. It'll come with its LS3 engine already fitted, the seats fitted, our own steering wheel, and any of the major components already fitted to the car. Typically, we usually order a car three months in advance of it turning up here to HSV, and that helps us because we need to coordinate coloured body kits, what wheels, what brakes this car is going to get when it arrives here in Clayton. So we need to make sure we know what cars are coming at us so we can sort of coordinate our stock and make sure the cars are built when they arrive here at HSV. The HSV build process is very unique because we've got such a large variety of cars that we're trying to build on the one line. And so that's a Malou, a Club Sport, GDS, Senator, Grange, and they've all got different customisations that our owners might want to do to the car. So we don't quite have a production line and we don't quite have the cell build operation. We've got a hybrid. The first thing we do to the HSV core vehicle when it arrives here in Clayton is we send it to our strip bay. All the unwanted plastics, the front and rear fascias, side skirts, are all taken off the car. Now those parts are recycled back either to the VAP in Adelaide or they're off to a plastic recyclers where they're ground up and reused in other plastic products. Once all the unwanted parts are removed from the HSV core vehicle, the real HSV build process starts. And that is the first hoist that goes to is mechanical pre-build. So the exhaust, the intermediates fitted on the GDS, the bimodals are fitted, the MRC wiring starts to be fitted to the vehicle on the first hoist. Once the mechanical pre-build finished, it moves over to electrical, and that's where the side blind zones are fitted, that's where the MRC modules fitted, the MRC switches, all of the little fidgety sort of electrical components are fitted there before it moves on to its production line. So now the HSV hits the production line and we start with the headers. We've already fitted the intermediate and rear mufflers, so the headers go on and moves on where it starts to chassis fit up. So depending whether it's MRC or a passive damp car, whether you've option performance suspension, rear sway bars are all fitted in the first part of the production line. So once the car's finished its mechanical build, it moves on to the body line where the cars are line sequenced. So we know exactly the week before what colour car, what type of car is coming in. So we can pre-order painted body kits ready to meet the car in a just-in-time system as it comes through the body line. It's here also that the identification of the car is marked. So the GDS badges, Club Sport badges, Senator badges, Grange, and of course the 25th anniversary badges are all fitted on this line. And then most importantly, the EDI is also programmed our enhanced driver interface. So the body line, probably one of the most exciting because where the HSV really starts to take shape. Next up, we've got wheels, tyres and brakes. And of course the 25th anniversary gets a new forged wheel. Very important, we've gone to a forged wheel now. It's actually five kilos lighter in the front and seven kilos lighter on the rear than the original GDS. So it's a huge weight saving, great for fuel economy, but also great for, from a performance angle for the unsprung mass. We've actually reduced the weight enormously. After the wheels and tyres and brakes are fitted, we go through a suspension settling process where we drive the car over a semi-rough road to make sure all the suspension settled before we do wheel alignment. After the wheel alignment, the car goes to a final inspection hoist where we go over the car with a fine tooth comb. Final quality inspection, once that's done, data dots are fitted to the car, it hits the ground and it's off to the dealership. As you can see, the HSV manufacturing line, there's not a robot in sight. They're all handcrafted by passionate, very experienced employees, very proud of what they build. But they've been here since day one, a lot of them. They set very high standards, and I think the quality shows in every car we make. As far as the 25th anniversary GDS goes, it's the pinnacle of all the cars we make. It's got all the technology, it's got all the passion of our employees. It really does encompass all of the performance, design, and innovation that HSV is known for today.